In the news, Grammy-winning singer Marilia Mendonca dies in air crash. Non-governmental organization deploys 200 persons with disabilities as election observers. United States government offers 5 million rewards for information on Mexican drug traffickers. Details coming up shortly. This is TOS Television, your digital first pan-African news network. I am Rose Audu and this is TOS News 360. Brazilian official on Friday confirmed Marília Mendonca, one of the hottest young stars of Brazil's answered country music, died in a plane crash. According to firefighters, the 26-year-old mega-popular Satna Joel singer was killed when the small plane she was travelling in crashed in Manaus, state in southeastern Brazil. There was no immediate word on the curse of the crash, which also killed the Latin Grammy winner's producer and one of her uncles who worked with the singer as well as the two pilots. The United States State Department has announced rewards of $5 million for information that will help authorities capture and convict four Mexican drug cartel leaders, including the brother of infamous trafficker Joaquin Altopo Guzman, along with Aurelano Guzman, U.S. authorities are also up in their pursuit of brothers Roberto Salguero, Jose Salguero and Roberto Salguero. The quota has been charged in U.S. indictment for violation of U.S. drug laws to include international conspiracies to distribute marijuana, cocaine, methamphetamine and fentanyl. State Department spokesman Anad Prince said in a statement on Friday. And development across Nigeria, no fewer than five people have died while several other persons sustained varying degree of injuries as a kerosene-laden tank exploded at popular Kubwa village market in Abuja. The incident happened Friday night at the junction leading to the early year primary school, Jaji Street, and a few meters away from St. Luke Catholic Church. A witness who simply called herself as Jennifer said the kerosene seller and her two children also died in the fire incident. The Kubwa Police Area Commander, ACP Mohamed Shebe, who confirmed the incident, debunked the rumor that it was a bomb explosion. The Executive Director of Inclusive Friends Association, Grace Jerry, said the organization has deployed 200 persons with disabilities as observers for the government's governorship election in Anambra State. Jerry stated this during a news conference organized by the United States Agency for International Development, Access Nigeria, IFA, and the National Democratic Institute. Grace said the conference was organized to discuss the importance of persons with disabilities to the electoral process and to engage the Independent National Electoral Commission to sustain organized voting during the election. Officers of the faction of the Association of Nigerian Authors, led by Camille Sukan as president, have been restrained by a court from conducting the 40th National Convention of the Association as the crisis rupturing the association remains unresolved. The judge O.A. Musa also barred the executives from par parading themselves as elected officials until the matter is heard. According to the court papers displayed on the ANA National Forum, Seven claimants in a suit with number FCT 4 slash HC 4 slash CV 4 slash 2613 4 slash 2021 filed at the Federal High Court in Abuja on October 25 obtained an order of interim injunction against the registered trustees of the association and its 18 member ESCO from identifying and parading themselves as officers of ANA and from holding the upcoming national convention, which was built for this week at the Writers Village, Abuja. This is your Digital First Pan-African News Network, TOS Television. You're watching TOS News 360. More national plus Africa, business and sports stories when we return. Do stay tuned. Welcome back. The Anambra State Commissioner for Information and Public Enlightenment, Don Adinuba, has said that a report in the public domain that people are leaving the state in large numbers is false. Recall that reports had emerged ahead of the Saturday's Anambra governorship election that some people are leaving the state. The Commissioner made a claim in a press statement made available to the newsmen on Saturday. 
And our your state governor, Sheyi Makinde, in a statement on his verified Facebook page on Friday announced its partnership with France on infrastructure development, education and agriculture. Makinde revealed that he received the new ambassador of France to Nigeria, Emmanuel Blatman, who led her team on a courtesy visit to his office. Given details on the visit, the governor disclosed that one of his collaboration with the French government included the proposed construction of a farmer's market in the Akafu area of the state. Government in various sectors including education, agribusinesses and infrastructure development. And the Jay's Defense Ministry on Saturday confirmed unidentified gunmen killed 11 soldiers defending a village in a remote part of southwest Nijay where armed group fighters operate. It is gathered that the heavily armed attackers approached in a convoy of cars and motorbikes on Thursday afternoon, clashing with soldiers stationed outside the village of Dane near the border with Mali, the ministry said in a statement. And at least 84 people have died and dozens more are wounded following a massive explosion in Sierra Leone's capital, Freetown. The blast happened after a 45th long oil tanker collided with another vehicle at a busy junction in the city. President Julius Maatabayo said he was deeply disturbed by the tragic fires and the horrendous loss of life. In a tweet, he said his government would do everything to support the affected families. And moving on to business, the Central Bank of Nigeria has said Farmers who fail to repay the loans collected under its anchors borrowers programs will be barred from accessing a new facility and have their pledged collateral foreclosed. The Development Finance Department of the CBN said this in its reverse ABP guidelines released on Friday. And in sport, a football club Barcelona have named former midfielder and captain Xavi Hernandez as head coach on a contract until 2024 following the sacking of Ronald Koeman. The La Liga club received the green light on Friday to sign the 41-year-old after they paid the release clause in his contract with Quatre, side Al Saad. Xavi Hernandez, a youth team product at Baca, has left his current club, Al Saad of Qatar, after talks held over the last few days with the owners of the club. Dutch coach Coleman was sacked after a 1-0 defeat by Ray Volcano last month, last month, which left Baka as it's commonly known with ninth in La Liga. And that is TOS News 360 on your Digital First Pan African News Network. For more update, visit www.tostvnetwork.com. Do follow and like our social media handles on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And remember to subscribe on YouTube. Do stay with us and enjoy more programs on TOS Television Network. I am Rose Aldu, and many thanks for watching.